<laughs> Go ahead, bro. You got time. I've this message three times, but I still haven't preached it. We come in and pray. Pray. Come in pray. You know, everybody, every Christian in here, please stretch your hands up to the front and pray for her. Mercy on us, touch us, help us, us like God, that we may have hair and turn our eyes. Stand in need all the time. Touch us, my God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You like that last song? I had power in
God's already brought some change in here tonight. And I'm asking you, don't go out the door without giving God the opportunity. Please, you may not get another chance. No, just this past week, I lost a dear friend. And he, he, he wasn't close. Everybody knows Sheriff DJ. And I got part of the Sheriff's Department. I speak. Almost 10 years on the Sheriff's Department. When I got there, you know, the first thing I did was put me in the jail. Eugene took me under his wing. Eugene's family was in Indiana. Eugene was eating Long John Silver, sitting in a car, and the guy came up and shot him. Let me tell you, don't take nothing from the bread. Every time you step out that door, it does not mean you're coming back in. Just like every time you step out that door, don't mean God's going to deal with your heart again. If He's dealing with you, you need to come. No. So many times, people say, if I would have. If I would have. I'm telling you, when well, you got bread to your life, come on. you can't. Come on. You can't. I'm talking to the Christians also. If you want God to do something for you, how about do something for Him first? You know? Everybody wants to run around and want a handout. Instead of a handout, put something in. Put your hand in it. You need something out of it. You know? You know? Oh, man, I'm going to get started. Go ahead and preach, brother. I'm going to let like that preach to you. The brothers are going to sing again. Come on, bye. They're going to sing some more. But I don't want this service to go over without an altar call. I don't want someone to leave here without the altar call. I'm going to pray.
And I promise you, you've never got to feel like you feel. Now, you know, like I was telling the other night, I was riding home with some boys from work, the night of the sacrament. And they, they was talking about, you know, everybody needs to go to church. These were sinners. You know, well, I don't know if one was or not, but I know another two were. And they told me, they said, you know, everybody needs to go to church. Everybody needs that happiness. I said, the happiness ain't where it's at. The happiness y'all is missing the picture just like everything else. You want something to tickle your heart. That's not where it's at. The peace when you lay down, that's where it's at. God, when he came, Jesus said, I leave you my peace. Yeah. That's where Come it's on. at. Anybody can make you happy, but that's for a long time. No. Most of the time it's a short time. And then you're right back in it. Too many times, everybody wants to praise God when they're on the mountain. But nobody wants to throw a hand up when they're in the mountain. Come on. Amen. Keep praising him. He will come. Yeah. He will come. You know, I ask you, when they go back to Sunday, you know, when they go back to Sunday, put something in this service. Yeah. Yeah. Put something in it and take something out of here. Take something out of here that will stay with you forever. That will stay with you by your side forever. Yeah. You know, you don't have to go through things alone. We don't have to live it alone. We can't live it alone. We can't. You know, trying my best not to get tired of it. Boy, Lord, Let me tell you what. It's time. We, as Christians, it's time. There's one. It's time. We, as Christians, stand up for what is right. It's time that we open our mouths Yeah. People keep forgetting. Christ came for the lost to be saved. The Bible's wrote for the Christians for a flow man, for a flow chart, to show you how to get there. God don't ask much. He don't ask much. But believe me, the rewards are far outweigh what you're putting into. You know, sometimes I wake up. I was telling him at the church up, the Charlie's church the other night. My grandpa, all of you know him. When he was here, he told me, he said, if I make it in as a street sweeper, I'm the happy. He said, if I just get in as a street sweeper and put me in a closet with a basket in the room, I'm happy. Well, I'm not. I'm one of the hard angels that carry my crown around. I want to have so many jewels that they have to pack somebody for me. You know, if anybody can slide by, I don't want to slide by, I don't want to step over and get through. That's it. There's more in here. There's more in here. Don't leave out this door. I'm asking, please. You have to take the first step. You take the first step, and I promise you he'll be with you when you get there. He will be with you. And when you get up, he will be with you. And when you leave, he will be with you. But you have to take the first step to get anything out of it. It's great and wonderful to have these blessings. Believe it or not, it's great and wonderful to have trials, to have affliction. It's great and wonderful. If you need it, then you ain't doing nothing right. That's how you judge how you do something right. If, nothing, if all that will help nothing to get you, you're doing something right. If you're not, you're not. You know, I'm asking. You're going to turn back over to him. Is there, is there anybody else that want to pray? Is there anybody else that want to pray? Anybody? Thank you. 
Thank you. 